Hey there, everybody, Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays XCOM 2, or The Chosen. I'm gonna be honest, I'm just hoping that it goes okay today. I, I swear, I added one mod as, like, a joke, um, because we were talking about it on the Discord. And, well, ended up having the... Get rid of my config files, and then reconfig everything, and then restart my computer, and then try it again, watch it crash like three more times, and then we finally got, finally got back to the screen. So we're gonna see if it works out for us. Anyway, let's head to the, um, little map. See what's going on. We should have an, a shield bearer autopsy done soon. Where are we? We're, uh, here, in the middle of nowhere. We were trying to make contact over here to get our money. Yep. Well, let's... Okay, good. Ain't nothing false about this, assassin. Check this out. So what? One of your dead dudes. You probably don't care. are not all that dissimilar from their various advent peers. Mm-hmm. Their armor is perhaps the most distinctive feature differentiating them. Yes, that would make sense, you know, considering their name. Uh, experimental armor is now on the docket. By incorporating Illyrium cores, we can make fancy armor. Ooh, Chrysalid Ripper autopsy is inspired. All right, well, it's inspired. Let's do it. Okay, learn Working about them little dudes. Tight constraints of the Avenger. I've had a difficult time finding room. I, I believe you, Tygen. I'm sorry about that. Not really. All right, we're going to clear some alien machinery as well. Supplies, alloys, all good things, all good things. Uh, we do have to build the Shadow Chamber eventually, as well as do Mock X Covert Actions. So, lots of things to get done. Sin is uh, under the process of being conditioned, by the way. We have seven power to spend. We also need resistance comms, because we're going to need to be able to build more more spots so lots of options here what do you go with i'm tempted to actually build like a workshop here which will create the gremlin drones that can be sent to staff any adjacent facility because then this could be staffed this could be staffed this could be staffed this could be staffed so you know what i'm gonna do what i said Go ahead and build the workshop. Put an engineer in there to help it go a little bit faster. And then I have like two engineers left still. So go ahead and dig out this alien machinery right here. All right. Thank you both. Take 10 days. It'll be all right. Those will get done at the same time. Beautiful, beautiful. Then above that, we can put something else that requires an engineer or something. I don't know. Anyway. We are heading farther south. We need to get to Australia. That's where they got that fancy facility. We're gonna go give them a talking to, and by talking to, I mean a couple weapons in their face. Maybe a spark or three. Located the elders hunter. 70 extra supplies? Good. In this region, uh huh. We need to get down there. Okay. We can't make contact yet, though. We could do a couple of different things. One, we could build faster if we had to skirmish or HQ. Course. Maybe we do that. Although eventually I'm gonna want more um more soldiers too. But yeah, speed this Our up. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. Alright, tell me about these rippers. We can make a ripper grenade. Very cool, very cool. Uh they throw out needles. It's pretty great. It uh they can penetrate armor and cover. They do not do a lot of damage, but they, they go through things. Ooh, psionics is inspired. I mean, I guess we should learn psionics so we can make proper psionic weapons, but do this nemesis. Because honestly, one, you get this video with this music and it's great. Um, it's such a break of pace compared to the music that from, you know, before and after this. But anyway, we get a better rocket launcher, I believe, out of this and possibly a better pistols. Ooh, that last twitch. Out we go. Good stuff. We should be getting another soldier here soon. Another created soldier. So uh, has increased her combat intelligence. She's gotten smarter. It's pretty great. Work with the Templar informant. Breakthrough research. Ooh, lower the cost of the shadow chamber. I'm tempted. Gotta throw a lot of things in here, but it, it's just someone getting wounded. And the thing about just getting wounded is that they'll recover, you know? 
It's kind of kind of what they do. So maybe we do that. Okay, give me this. Give me this one. Who's gonna go? We'll send Den Mother with a scientist. Uh, here you go. All right, five days. It's fine. If you get hurt, you'll live. Probably. I mean, it says wounded, not killed, right? I'm just going by what it tells me. All right, Sin is good to go as well. He has earned the Stiletto ability. As well as mobility and 15 ability points. That's a lot of ability. Uh, who should we condition next? Well, arguably someone who's tired. Because they're not going to be able to go on a mission anytime too soon anyway. So I'll tell you what, let's condition Elena. Nine days it'll take her. But once she gets out, I'm tempted to give her mobility as well. But honestly, let's give her aim conditioning. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and check our new lads. Well, not new, but, uh, you know, our powered up lads here. We got Vasilla. We still got the uh, Sniper. The Tranquilizer. It's all good, all good. Um, she should have more ability points now, right? 15, yeah, she's gifted. As you can see, it's not enough to actually buy anything yet. Overwatch single target with covering fire. This attack may critically hit. I mean, that's cool. We might get that later. And then we got Sin. Where are you on this list? Look, I can't read. Okay, here we go. Sin, he's got his weapons. He's all decked out. That's good. So he got a new ability, Stiletto. Shots fired with your arrow knife pierce two armor. I mean, if that works with... It doesn't work with... Uh, regular attacks. Um, maybe it'll work on his knife? If not, I'm gonna have to give him a pistol at some point. I should probably give him health, too. Yeah, get, here, you can take the superior conditioning. Alright, now you're superiorly conditioned. What do you want me to upgrade here? Can't upgrade his knives. Alright, don't yell at me about upgrading. If you're not gonna give me the choice, come on now. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful. Next up, Sin is also recovered from his wounds. Hell yeah. We got a new Spock. Uh, we already have projects here, so that's good. All right. A new Spark ready to go. Let's get over here. Check him out. We got Silvermane the Spark. Ready to rock and roll with his reinforced frame. The question is, what weapon should he have? The Spitfire Pulse Cannon is fine. We could give him the heavy laser gun. Oh, yeah. Make him a sniper, bro. Or give him the ash bringer. Make him a burner. Ooh. So many options. Then there's the Archangel Heavy Cannon. Which is like a weaker sniper, right? Yeah, yeah. So really, it's between the Spitfire and the Heavy Cannon. I kind of like the Heavy Cannon because I like the way it goes boom. You know? And then you could give him another weapon as well. Ordnance Launcher we already have on the battlefield. But we could give him the, the bit. Could let someone go with the bit. I think it's a good idea, probably. Give him a heavy smoke launcher, too. That's probably not as useful, but it's honestly the only thing I can give him right now on that front. Hmm. I mean, I'll get other options if I pick a different secondary. Like, if I give him a shield. Um... All right, that's a bad example. <laughs> uh, it's kind of too bad they don't give you any, like, melee weapons for them. The Ashbringer can do three to six damage. Uh-huh. Key parts are manufactured from alien alloys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flame Storm of Fire. Target's immune to fire cannot be damaged by this weapon. Well, thanks. Uh, both regular and all... Uh, Overwatch attacks are cone-shaped. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna go with the sniper still. I like the idea of it. Okay, then give him... Give him that plated bit. See, the plated bit gives him a hack... Uh, he gets a higher hack bonus from the gremlin, but I think the bit... The bit's fine. Yeah, we'll let him... We'll let him play with his bit. Don't quote me. Give him the second shot chance? Nah. I mean, it only has one shot per do, so there is no point in having a second shot chance, right? And then we have... And then, of course, Hans is over here. He's got his own special weapon, the rail cannon, which I guess he could keep that along with his ordnance accelerator for five million grenades. 
Good lord. I mean, that kind of makes me want to give him the Ordnance Accelerator as well, but... Well... This should be fine. I mean, he has the smoke launcher. It doesn't hurt for him to have it. So, I think we're good either way. We'll see how it works out, you know. Oh, baby. Grill Ops time. What do we got? Uh, hack a workstation. This will counter rural t checkpoints. Decreases supplies at the next supply drop by 50. Wow, half supplies. But it's only one time, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Continual waves of reinforcements until the objective is completed. Limited to three soldiers. I don't want to do this one. I want to limit myself to soldiers. Uh, this has no sit reps on it. And it counters infestation. I probably want to counter this one the most, to be honest. So they made that one an easy mission. Mock X is at this uh, West Asia one. Force level may increase depending on how successful missions are. That one also sucks, but this one gets you an engineer, has no sit reps, and counters the dark event that I want to get rid of the most because I don't like chrysalids. So it's like win, 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 you know? All right. Since this is a relatively easy mission, this is a good one to take some of the less experienced soldiers. Although I am tempted to take Sin. Uh, he could use some rest, honestly. His willpower isn't all the way up. So, you know what? Let's let's drop off some of our experienced soldiers. We'll send them on some other missions later. Uh, Wingus? Yeah, you can you can sit back, too. This is a pretty pretty empty group so far, huh? All right, well, let's, let's fill it in with some robots. Okay. Silvermane, he doesn't have experience yet. We'll go with Hans. We got our Shiv. We don't have any more robots right now, but we do have Jek Kekor. Hell yeah. We're going to bring the Kekster. Ah, oh, I just love that name so much. It's so dumb. Um, it sounds like a name that 4chan would give him. Anyway, give him the ceramic plating. Keep, keep the amp. Yeah, yeah, keep the rest of this, obviously, but that's good. What can I say? I love Jack Kekor. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, Purple Smart, you can go. You haven't been on a mission in a while. You could use some experience. Let's see. Are you... You are bonded. You're bonded with Hans, so even better. Keep Angela back for right this minute. Uh, you know what? Let's give, uh, let's give our Butcher here a chance at a mission without, you know, Parrish here to blow her up. Uh, okay, Marina, let's give you the Hellweave, since you're going to be in melee. And you already have throwing knives built into like your abilities. So let's do the spec ops knife because that also that gives you silent takedown, which is not built in. So that could be interesting, right? And we got one small spot available. Let's see. Well, Mox is there. Let's take Philomore. He'll be our most experienced one today. Okay. He's ready. We could use some uh, some ranged combat. Our uh, spark over here, rocking 10 AP. We got 10 on Jack as well. Would probably be a good idea to give him mind spin. <sighs> Follows up an allies attack with a reaction shot. This one's really cool. But when he levels up, he's probably going to get enough points to get two. So let's let's just go with that. Let's see what this team can do. All right. We've got our bots. We've got I our Jack. We're ready to kick Menace over here deploy. at Operation Zaptide. I forgot what type of mission this is. Is this destroy a transmitter? I think that's what it is. Which, if it is, it's a good thing we have someone stealthy. Yeah, Butcher's gonna not Butcher. He'll be fine, though. I'm feeling it. You know that it that you feel sometimes? I'm feeling it right here about this mission. Good chance to give some new guys some new blood. Get some new blood blooded, if you will. In a potentially bloody battle. There's going to be a Chosen here, isn't there? Oh, it'll be worse. They'll, they'll send the Sundowner on this mission. Oh, now I hate it. I was... I was, I, I, I made myself sad and anxious. <laughs> isn't that just the human condition, though? Mm, things are going well, but are they going too well? We've been Maybe. Up unusual readings I better be scared and anxious. And our recon team has confirmed that Advent Hopefully is now nobody some takes advantage of that. Take my rights away. 
Shen and Tigan agree. If we destroy the transmitter while it's still connected to Advance Network, <laughs> their operations across this entire region Watching Jim sit cool. here and the, take it up the 40% of the screen. Uh, all right. Operations Zaptide. Yep, destroy the transmitter. Okay. Like I said, this is a good, great mission even to have someone stealthy. And we have someone very stealthy. Not... Not Elena Dragonova stealthy, but very stealthy. Ooh, I like this. I like this map. Don't necessarily like the rain. Although I like the rain occasionally, you know. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area. I live in the part of the uh, U.S. that does not network. get much rain. Our intel suggests destroying it. Kind of want to move to one that does. Will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. We'll work on it. All right, so. Let's start with our butcher, shall we? Uh, she has the ability to hook shot. So let's get I'm upstairs. A in the air. Hell yeah, you are. I thought you saw someone right away. That was going to be something. Okay. Hmm. Move up a little Good. bit. Uh, ha, ha, oh, it's just a transmitter. Okay. Ah, yeah. armored vipers. Okay. And our Archon Warriors. Is Interesting. Directly into their network. Mm -hmm. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts yeah. to isolate the transmitter. Okay, good. Thank, thank you. Uh, head over this way. Stay right. on the roof, though, please. Okay. We should be plenty stealthy. That'll give us the rest of us time to get up. So start moving. Move. Yeah, move, purple. All right. Beautiful. Oh, the hello. Reach for the sun. Oh boy, a Bernie Unaware boy. Aware that the fire will burn them to ashes. Okay. Let's see how you handle this. All right, Hans, let's Come handle on. this. Come on. I get the feeling you'll handle it just fine, but only one way to find out. Wait, you can shoot the pack off? Oh no, there's a exploding thing behind him. I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait up. Oh, actually, this is so tempting though. Things are going to count down either way, right? So I might as well do this. Mm. Oh, I didn't realize you were upstairs. Uh, I should have. <laughs> and the Aegis Trooper is inside, too. Well, frick. Rocket launcher, though. Rocket launcher, though! Silverman, go ahead and use overdrive. Let's give you some extra moves. Time for him to come into the battle with a bl with a bang, or a blang. If I can't talk right, that's okay though. Let your every blow be a prayer for man. Boom, oh, baby. Oh, oh, and he blew up a uh, network. Oh, well, thank you. Sup, emulator? How you doing, buddy? All right. Uh, fifty-three percent of the time, this works every time. Go for it. Holy crap, it worked! Alright, Silvermane. Well, that's how you make an entrance in XCOM. God dang. Okay, move up. Okay. Well, someone's earned their first promotion. Good gowd. Uh, get up here, Jack. Alright. Mmm, Jack. Get court. Alright, here he goes. Come on. Jim, let's get you going through. I love how much armor he has. I mean, I could go ahead and just frag, but... Actually, Jim, can you take a shot on him? You can. Do it. Ah, crap. Well, that's not good. Uh, Philomore, you don't really have a shot either. We may have jumped the gun a little Come bit. On. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. I could launch a frag grenade up there and blow up all the cover that ever existed. Or an acid grenade and blow up all the cover and set him alight. But, honestly, we already overdriven once. Why not do it again? Okay. You can do it every five turns. I should say they can. Alright. Move up, bombs. Hell you. Knock, knock. Hans is home! <laughs> like how slowly he pressed the button. <laughs> good fight, good night. You fought well. 
Good start. All right, now you can move up a little more. Get yourself in a better spot. All right, good start, good start. I can't tell if they're on alert or not. I mean, they're on alert. I can't tell if they saw us or not. I mean, they didn't see... I don't know what I'm trying to... Okay, they got a bio boy, a toxic boy, and a cursed boy over here, which bio boy is a toxic boy, but that's not here nor there. Could try throwing a kunai from here, but... Honestly, what does it cost? What does this say for the cost? Cost one action. So you can do it twice. Five turn cooldown that resets if the ninja kills a target. Does this count as a kill? Vive la revolution. Well, crap. Um, I mean, you could go up and slash this one. Let's see. Shadow walk. Uh, I don't think we need that right this second. Go ahead and actually give me a kunai overwatch. It's about time I had a moment's peace. Okay, a little more. Can we get you upstairs? No, <laughs> we cannot. Uh, we can get Jim upstairs. That's because Jim can just teleport. Um, basically, he floats. Floats like a bumblefly. Oh boy, they see us. All right, lads. Uh, well, I mean. We have a better chance on the Archon Warrior. What's the Archon Warrior got going for him? Oh, he can teleport. And he's a Stun Lance. Well, we should probably take him out first. Armored Vipers. Tongue Pole, Bind, Poison Spit, Patch Armor. Yeah, they'll be bad, but let's start with the Teleporter, bro. Because I do not like the sound of that. Okay, good start, Jim. Oh! What the... Yeah, that's to a new position as soon as it took damage. That was my reaction. Um That's not good. Oh gosh, you have to go way over to get them. Uh let's have you not do that yet. So where is he? He's like over here. Silvermane, come inside. Alright. Just crash through everything as you do, as you do. Um Yeah, it's not really worth it. So, tell you what, what we'll do, we'll uh, throw out some smoke eventually, I think. But first, Hans, you can just, why can't you walk, oh, you can't fit through the door, can you? Hans cannot fit through the door. I just want you all to be aware of this. <laughs> but he can fit through the window, which seems like a smaller fit. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on. All I know for sure is, oh, if I do that, it's going to blow up, uh, wait. Right here. And Zavala said Cabal Bombs would make four training tools. Hello! You thought you could hide. Are you gonna teleport again? Okay, you're over there now. <laughs> Hello! Oh damn! That would have been awesome if it hit. Ah crap. We don't have much going for us right now. Let's go ahead and get some smoke over here. Right here. Okay. Just a little hidey hole. Okay. Let's see. Because purple can hide behind some of the smoke. You could also hide behind some of the soldiers, but uh -huh. let's hide behind the smoke for now. Do you have a hit on anyone? Yes, you do. That's not a good hit. But we do have magic missile or insanity. Insanity has a 63% chance to hit. Uh, magic missile is a guaranteed hit. We have rapid targeting as well. That's a free action. Go ahead and rapidly target this one. Man, that's going to give us increased aim on this, bro. Uh, and then does that help with Acid Blast? It actually does. Helps with the regular shot, too, but the regular shot is really not worth much. Give him a magic missile. Oh, it's serious now. All right. Getting magical up in here. Or at least trying. Hot damn. I'll take three damage. Okay. Billamore. Let's see. Nightfall. I don't think that's that helpful. Good. Just move up. For now. Do not use Overwhelming Burst, but do break this. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone ducked like you did something big there. 
All right, Jack, what do you got? Um, we could reanimate that, dude. Do it. All right. Welcome back to the land of the kind of like living, sort of. But not really. All right, this guy's getting some free moves. That's not good. Oh, nice miss, loser. Okay, yeah, they're going straight for shots on our shiv. Another, wow, that was a weird gun action you got there, uh, Viper. Oh, it's slithering. Oh, you went behind some cover. Okay, what are you shooting at? Oh, that's not a shot at anybody. That's just acid. Which didn't hit anyone right away, which is weird. But okay. Mmm, hold up. It's poison, that's what it is. Okay. You actually have a shot from here, Jack? But it's not a good one, so we're not going to take it. You have a slap on someone. Go slap this. And also forward scout. <laughs> the viper's just watching him walk past. That is great. You did it! Oh, now they're all awake, too. Which is not great, but we do have seven turns to do the thing. And there was no Chosen here, and I'm not seeing a Sundowner here yet either. So that's making me feel way safer. Uh, Silvermane says what to Poison. That's literally it. He just says what? What is this? Am I supposed to be scared of this? Is this... You just gonna kill me with Stank? Alright, upstairs he goes. I mean, he's a sniper after all. It just makes sense. Okay, who do you got shots on? Um, not great shots, although the best chance to kill is right here. What is with... Heavy cannon... Is it the range? It might be the range. Pick the shot. Oh, get vivisected. Oh my goodness gracious, that was beautiful. All right, Jack, get yourself in here. Don't keck this boy yet. We gotta try to bust that cover. And wouldn't you know it, we have someone who's actually, like, perfectly excelled to do that. Move over here, please, Hans. Okay. Uh, we could have you go for the kill. However, we only have a 65 chance of getting that kill. Whereas if we do this, we have a 100% chance of blowing up your cover. And blast that armor. And then every... How does Jack ha not have a shot at all now? Video games, man. I swear, not even once. Um, move up. Okay. Purple, if you move, you get poisoned. So, you're in kind of a spot. However, you have a fantastic maneuver you, uh, right here. Gonna ignore a direct order from your superior? Okay, Purple, just settle down, okay? <laughs> well... Winning out. Weapon out. Oh, minimum damage. Beyond minimum, even. Come on, Jim. Finish him. Yeah! That's the sauce. All right, beautifully done. Pillamore, if you move, you get hurt, so you're just going to go on Overwatch, even though you're in a terrible spot for it. Okay, we do have a Lightning Slash available. Um... Which I guess can buy us some more time? We wanted to use that. We also have regular Slash available. That could get a kill here. It could, wow, do a lot of damage here. Small chance of a kill. You don't have Windcaller's Legacy, though, do you? Oh, mm, it's tempting. Go for it. If we could knock this Armored Viper out, then we probably don't have to worry too much about the Bio Boys. I'm probably wrong about that. They get a move, but... Oh, that was good damage! Not enough, but... So okay, you do get a... Oh, ooh! Lightning Slash! Free move! Let's go! I will shoot you all down! Well damage on the free move. Okay, then we can head up here behind cover. Then we'll be in a good spot. I don't think they can move there. I hope I'm not wrong. All right, and... Here it is. Okay, good. That's and because you killed someone, your kunai is available again. The X4 charges before they can cut it off from the network. You got it. Okay, you got two moves left. 84% of the time, this works every time. Let's do it! 
Bam! Bam! Nobody does it better. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Now that you're, you know, they're like this. Uh, let's just go ahead and get behind double heavy cover. Of course. All right, show off. Good stuff. Uh, keep hunkering oh, down here. Okay, here comes the biomech. He's got four armor. Good lord. Yeah, go after the size zombie. Oh no! <laughs> Our nothing was killed. You, I'm slightly more worried about. Yeah, you're gonna take a shot at Butcher. He went about as that. I'm fine. How I expected Except it to. For my clothes. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Well, Jim, just move up. He just moves up casually. Takes a aim, takes a shot. That's all you do. That's all you gotta do. Just do what you do. You didn't need that armor. The more I play, the more I love Jim. I'm telling you. All right. Butcher, you hold off. Purple, you need to yeah, hold off. Sure. That that stank should go away eventually. Oh, I was really hoping I could get you to punch this guy. Anyway, let's move up. Get moving. Because guess what? Hans ain't on empty yet. We got one more grenade for you, baby. And Zavala said Cabal bombs would make more training tools. Beautiful. We missed the um little pod over here, but that's okay. Reload. Man, and honestly, while you're here, buy us some more time. Jeez. <laughs> Mech's guns sound so good. All right, Jack. Um, oh, there's no heavy. Well, this is the heaviest uh, cover you can get, so just head up here for now. Eventually, we'll have you head all the way over. You do have another shot. Mm, small chance of a kill here. Go for it. Nice with the crit. All right, obviously she's not running in here. Hmm. Could have you shadow walk, but honestly, at this point, let's just have you go even farther behind cover. Understood. Okay. She's truly rocking the ninja roll. He's immune to acid. Well, that's all right. We got what we needed out of that. This could hurt though. Take an aim at Hans. Ooh, damn, Hans. He refuses to take any flack. Get him. Get him, Jim. Yeah. That was not a lot of damage. That's okay. Okay, now you guys are free to go. Beautiful. I'll head up here. Roger. Make some noise. I thought that door was already open. <laughs> to be honest with you. Mm, hand cannon shot? 58%. No, that's not that good. Sticky bomb? Uh, nah. Did I say the next attack is guaranteed to hit? Oof, that's good damage. Alright, well, if you can move, that means purple can move, too. So, purple, you, we need you to move up as well. Okay, great. Get farther into the battlefield, please, if you'll do me that favor. And then, uh, you can take a pistol shot. Kill him with the pistol! Let's go! Pretty great, right? We're not picking up any other contacts. Get those charges deployed. You heard him. Get over here. I am on my way. All right. Got to open that door very politely. Okay. Next turn, we should be able to de deploy Step the charges the and then maybe get the hell out. Hey, right, reload. You might as well stay upstairs while you're there. Oh, I should have had you punch it. Ah, well. I love these guns. They sound so good. Boop! Thank you, Jack. You kicked it up right. What good you did. Okay, place the charges. Do, 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 do. Signal confirmed. X4 charges are active. That transmitter is history. All right, good, good to work, go. Commander. Hey, an Illyrium core. Thanks. It was not sanctioned by Central, and I do not need your permission. I'm still skirmisher. Thanks, uh, Mox. Anyway, free core. I'll take it. Uh, check was here. Totally. 100% accuracy. I did destroy the relay. 
which doesn't mean much. Jim, one in 22. Uh, Philomore, seven damage. Perfect accuracy, though. And yeah, Marina, ob absolutely MVP. Three kills, 42 damage. Missed one Overwatch and one regular shot. More like a knife throw, but whatever. Purple, one in four. Hans, one in 19. And Silvermane on his first mission, two and 28 with perfect accuracy. Well, that's what a sniping machine does for you, right? Literally a sniping machine. Beautiful work, beautiful work. For years, these for years. have threatened the union between humanity and the elders. We've been doing it for years. We're just doing it well now. That's the only difference. I love how Jack just T poses no matter what. The more I think about it, the more I'm convinced he's just a living 4chan shit post. <laughs> hey, he, promo he got promoted. Alright, anyone too tired to go on another mission? No, everyone's actually good to go. Beautiful. Alright, 35 supplies. Got a T type stage 2 corpse. Armored Viper corpses. Excellent. Not bad, work, not bad. Commander. And an engineer. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance. The engineer is in here. Alright, beautiful, beautiful. We could put her in here for the power relay right away, but honestly, we don't have to. We could. We just don't have to, you know? Alright. Jack Kekko. He's done it! Alright. Oh, he didn't get enough for two. Oh, yeah, he did. Because he, well, kind of. We could spend five XCOM AP. Suppression. Fire a barrage that pins down a target. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what suppression is. Fuse. If an enemy is carrying explosives, they can be remotely detonated. Yas. I remember that one. That one's amazing. Uh, just extra damage. Or yeah, give him extra damage. Just free extra damage. Sure. Why the hell not? It's free. Somehow. Scorch. Hey, you got a promotion. Don't know why. Don't know how. Don't complain. Uh, stun strike. Shadow. Oh, yeah. Doesn't trigger Overwatch or Suppression Fire. He's 63 AP? What the hell? Um. Yeah, we can't up his actual stats. So, you know, I'll give him parry as well. There we go. Maybe next time you go out, you won't get shot at as much. I mean, you probably will. But maybe you won't. Actually, sad that Silvermane didn't get a single promotion there. It's alright. Once he does... We'll be able to give us some good stuff. Collateral damage could be fun. Anyway. All good, or at least all decent. We now have an extra engineer. Like I said, we might as well put you in here. I mean, when the workshop is done, we sh you shouldn't be needed in there, but we're getting, we're getting to that critical mass point where we aren't going to need more engineers. Non-human soldier over there. Okay. Good to know. Uh, for now... Let's get this weapon upgrade and gun upgrade. See what these are. And with each passing day, I come closer to ending your ceaseless flight from battle. If you say so, assassin. Anyway, Nemesis T-Type Stage 2. Yep, upgrades for those pistols. Beautiful. Samurai Edge, magnetic. And for the rocket launchers. Of course, we'll have to, uh, you know, make those actually happen, but we can. Hmm... Go ahead and, uh, I was gonna say autopsy the priest. Let's, uh, ooh, let's autopsy this, uh, Archon Although Warrior. I, realistic expectations I wanna see what you have for us. Resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger. I can build I another rail cannon if I wanted. Some getting used to. Even with the ah, all of these costs. Frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver hmm. make it difficult to conduct experiments of any notable sensitivity. This, would I this give Parrish more accuracy? God, I hope so. And then upgrade the Wesker model. The Wesker model is the best one to do. Because I think most people use it. Living in the colonies. So why the sudden change of heart? Like most people, I wanted to believe that he's using the Chris model. That's fine. Who is using the Wesker model? I admit, I was drawn to the sense of normalcy they offered. It was a mistake. The way they changed they the, the, the stuff, the it's funny. Come here if they wanted peace. As I said, it was a mistake. Who is using the Wesker I model? I thought I had someone using it. My efforts with XCOM. Then I'd say you've got your work cut out for you. Chef Bear, are you using a Wesker model? You're using the Jill model. 
I swear I had someone using the stronger Wesker model. Now I just feel like I'm losing my mind. Wouldn't be the first time, right? Um, Vasilla, are you using the Wesker model? I thought you... No, 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 you have the, um... You have the SCP stun gun. I have no idea. I know Parrish got an upgrade, though. He's got a better box. Okay. Five to eight damage. Four clip size, two shred. It's good. Definitely not complaining about any of that. Well, yeah, I don't remember. It's fine. If I wanted to switch, let's say this missile. Thing is, this one has extra aim, and I kind of really want to play with the extra aim. But, you know, the regular one has two to four damage. The, this was three to eight. Oh my god, that damage. And it has more shred. And it actually comes with ten aim as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to upgrade his. Okay. Um... Take this stuff off here. And then give you double Wesker models. Yeah, that's... That's too much. That's too strong. Especially since they look like freaking... Toy guns, but whatever. <laughs> we'll work with it. Okay. 20% extra chance to hit on reaction shots. Auto ammo. Chance of free kills. Auto reload, I should say. Uh, the repeater. Chance of the second shot if the first one misses? Sure. I don't want the aim penalty, though. Even though he already has a lot of... Yeah, he's gonna... He's gonna absolutely slaughter someone. Preferably a chosen. Anyway, get this. Scorch is ready to go. Elevated aggression. Oh no. Huh. So now, when missions are completed, the force level may increase. Just randomly. Right now we're at force level 10. Okay, shadow chamber will be cheaper from now on. Thank you, dead mother. I kind of want to prepare another supply raid. Last time we did that, it was pretty damn great. So I tell you what, then mother, get, get out there. Take uh, Angela with you. And I'm going to hold off on, on those. Okay, we're going to have two missions like back to back as a result of this. Something to keep in mind. Okay, I don't want, I don't need an extra gorilla op right now, but thank you. Get that alien machinery cleared, lads. Oh, we just get a repeater and a powered bayonet? Sweet. All right. 15% chance to instantly kill your target. Definitely need to put that on someone. Let's see. Let's go for some... Alien alloys. Yeah, I think of the ones that we have here... It's probably the one I want the most. All right, alien machinery cleared out. That's more supplies, which we could really use at this point. The Shadow Chamber. Oh, boy. It's the only one we can actually afford right this second. That's because we made it cheaper. But I'd rather get it down here in this exposed power coil. That's going to be more useful in the long run. So I just need to get down there. Especially since, if you didn't notice, it costs five power. Which is not the most power in the universe. But it's a bit of power. You know? Okay, so who's going to get the repeater? I don't know. Probably someone who gets a lot of shots, which would be, again, someone like, um, like Dismas. It would be good for him. But anyone else who has a ton of shots would be good for it, too. On their weapon. Actually, can you upgrade Jim's weapons? No, you can't. Poor Jim. I'm telling you, he, get, he gets the, he gets the shaft all the time. What about Wrathburger? Is your weapon fully upgraded? It might be. I didn't want to go to your abilities. Yeah, it is. Speed loader. Which he needs. Oh, he also he already has a repeater. Well, we can make it better. Sure. Just upgrade it. That's good. And then a bayonet. Could I put the bayonet on Dismas's gun? Or not Dismas, Parrish's gun? I can't. Really? 
really thought this would be able to grab a bayonet. You, you can have the repeater, though. Huh. Well, what can I put the bayonet on? Sai, you have a... You have a laser rifle. Can we put a bayonet on it? Nope. Hmm. I mean, you have a bat, to be fair. You arguably don't need it. Well, can we put a bayonet on your gun? No, you put a laser sight on it, but not a bayonet. Hmm. It's a very specific weapon, apparently. I'm assuming, then, it probably can only go on, like, basic weapons, like the pulse rifle? There it is. Okay. Yeah, we'll give you a power bayonet. A Vambi. I mean, you already have a hard light sword, but... Eh. You know, more options for melee. It's not the worst thing in the world, right? Ooh, region income. Where am I? What am I researching right now? Alien alloys? We only have 26 alloys. How much longer before this actually disappears? 12 days on this. Your reputation is spreading beyond the resistance. And soon the whole world... We have 20 days on this one. Go to region income. to put on a show? Of course. We've been putting on a show there, Hunter. Where have you been? Okay. My quest to be the oh, crap. Child. Even I must Our covert actions will be delayed by a week? My enemy. Holy the crap! Are doing that hurts. It takes to slow us down. We need to watch out for their sabotage attempts. The outcome Dude, that of this armor on this guy. Further our advances, Commander. Okay, Archon Vest. Uh, the Archon is nothing more than a glorified Trojan horse ploy to hide the shriveled, hot, rotting husk of the ones called floaters that we fought in the first war. Well, that's an interesting theory. Adds deadly speed to your soldier, if you say so. Is that another? Ooh. I thought I saw another upgrade to, well, to the speed for our shadow chamber, but maybe because we already got it, it didn't count. Uh, chem thrower damage, y'all. foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. Do you build it here, or do you build it in the proving ground? As soon as the research here. is complete. What can I do for you, Commander? Corpses, gotcha. I'm curious to see what that does. I, I'm, I'm an inquiring mind. I would like to know things, you know? Uh, let's see. Ooh, Legion chassis is almost done. Uh-oh. Really, more Avatar project. Can you Commander, stop researching for a minute? I'm trying to do stuff. Project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Yeah, I know. We need to get another contact. Legion chassis. A heavy spark chassis. Provides great protection and survivability at the cost of regular chassis mobility. New combat abilities and heavy firepower. All right. I think I've stacked Hans quite a bit. So let's stack Silvermane and see what this will do for us. Holy crap, 18 health? Two armor? He loses that one point of mobility. Close range mode. Switch to close range mode. Improved accuracy and crit chance with proximity to target. Long range mode. Power shot at close range. Power shot at long range. Pierces through and damages all units in a straight line. Gun shield. Energy shield in front of the weapon to block incoming attacks and return fire. Smart core. Unleash all remaining ammo. Plus six more shots to enemies within sight. Shoots up to 12 times and has 100% each... What? My dude has 28 health now. What? What are we building next? In the Proving Ground. Mechanized Arm Transformation Gears. I have no idea what that is. I'm still reeling over Silvermane now Commander, having 28 health. The new workshop will do just fine. Beautiful. Okay, workshop's done. Look at that. Got some armor in there for some reason. I know space is limited, Commander. I appreciate the additional workshop facilities. We'll make good use of them. Okay, we put an engineer in here like Sophia. Here we go. Plus two staffing gremlins. So now we can have one in here effectively. Right? We can take you out. Oh, yeah. And then we, oh, yeah. We put the gremlin in here. Cool. Beautiful. And then we don't have anyone in here yet. Although we could, could we have a gremlin start down here? We can. Sweet. Alrighty then. We almost have this thing dug out. Beautiful, beautiful. 
Uh, how are we on supply? 73? I mean, that's enough to build the shadow chamber, and technically we have enough power at this point where we could put it wherever we want. But I like the idea of putting it at the bottom. Is it ideal? No. Um, is it the best move? No. I'm not doing anything Alien smart. Facility coordinates locked in. Really? <sighs> We're here in the US. All right. Well, Mexico, technically. Infested planet. Botched job of repurposing alien equipment by Bradford's favorite host of the Resistance Radio set off the dinner bell for every chrysalid within 100 miles. Wow. All XCOM rehearsed operation ability, allowing them to periodically run and gun and gain a temporary aim burst when they do, and the GOC's here. This mission's gonna be nuts once we get over there. Um, we can't get over there right now, though. What do we need to get over there? We need to get to Australia. All signs are pointing towards Australia. How many supplies do we need for resistance comms? That's not what I want. 110. Well, when we get our next income boost, we'll have it. That's just gonna take a bit. Yeah, is what it is, right? All right, get the work. Two, one, come on, Elena. Damn it, I was hoping that would happen before you get done first. Operation Rhubarb Muse. It's a hive swarm siege. Oh no, but we got rockets gallery. Rocket launchers thrown and launch grenades all have an extra chance of being a free action. Collectors are here. Advent has a strong presence, but they'll have no reinforcements. That is going to be next time here on That Plays XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know and by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for some more. So we'll keep going on. Stop till it does. Then it will. Unfortunately, we can't send Elena to that mission. I was planning on it, but that's okay. She'll have more opportunities to rise and shine. Thanks again for watching this episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Thet. I'll see you in the next video. Everybody owes. Yo.